it's all happening. I'm so excited and so proud, you guys, to finally be doing this on my channel. And I can say it's a long time coming. And that is, we're going to check out Holbein colored pencils. Not just any Holbein colored pencils, but the ones that have been released here in the U.S. finally. Now, you can get these at Blick.com, okay? So don't be confused. Holbein sent me some goodies, and I'm going to show them to you, and we're going to test them out, and it's just going to be amazing, okay? Uh, as you know, on my channel, if any of you have been here for a while, I absolutely love Holbein colored pencils. Back in 2016, I released one of my most popular videos. It was just a basic video about my top three best colored pencils in the world, according to me. I should have put that little caveat in there, but I didn't. As it goes, they still remain my number one colored pencil. So this review may be a little bit biased, but you know what? I don't say things are the best if they aren't, in my opinion. So I'm just saying. And I'm so excited because I'm going to give away my first 24 color pencil set that I ever bought of Holtline many years ago. I want one of you out there to be able to experience the luxury of these colored pencils. And the wonderful user experience of them too. Without further ado, let's check them out. I'm going to show you the swatches. I'm going to demonstrate them for you. And we're going to check out another little thing called melts. And... I, I struggled with this, okay, but I figured it out. I figured it out. So just hang in there with me. Let's go ahead and I'll take you on this journey. Let's have some fun. Kick back, get your tea, get your coffee, get whatever, and let's get started. Oh my goodness. I haven't even taken it out of the cellophane. Uh, you don't even know how hard it was <laughs> to be patient and not take it out. So let's go ahead and unbox it. Oh, that's a satisfying sound. Okay, here we go. Pop, pop, push, okay. Oh wow, yes. And so of course we have this little catalog that has all of the color charts on there. And then we have this, oh, we've even got a little screen so that's nice and dramatic here. Here we go, boop, 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 oh my goodness. And the gods wept everybody. So beautiful. Now I just got to say right now that having the 150 set has been so wonderful because it has so many options, but I'm telling you what, if you wanted to start with just a smaller set, you could check out this set, which is the 36 set, or you could do the 24. So each pencil is beautifully lacquered and on one side shows the name of its color, its number, and its light fast rating. According to the website, the lead is 3.8 millimeters and the pencil itself is easy to hold to discourage hand fatigue. Okay, Jane, stop. Stop. You're making it weird. Stop. <laughs> now, as you can see, it is the exact same packaging as whenever they had them only available over in Japan. And so it looks the same. Does it walk like a duck and quack like a duck the same? I don't know. We'll have to find that out. So that's exactly what this particular video is all about. And I have my Bristol board, my trusty Bristol board. We're going to be using the vellum surface from Strathmore and we're going to swatch these babies. So stay tuned. Before I get into swatching, I want to talk a bit about today's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare offers thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people on topics like gouache, watercolor, oil painting, and of course, colored pencil. For every level of colored pencil artists, Skillshare has a class that'll fit your schedule and aspiring level. Skillshare has many amazing colored pencil artists with courses on many different subjects. There's even a course on blending colored pencils with Kirsty Partridge. Kirsty is a well-known, versatile artist and shows you the basics of blending, what materials you'll need, how to lay your colored pencils correctly, and finally demonstrates drawing and blending with a study of a cat. The first 1,000 people to use the link in my description will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership, and their annual subscription is less than $10 a month. Learning online is about as easy and affordable as it gets with Skillshare. If you're interested in the most versatile platform, Skillshare is your creative haven. Explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in creativity with Skillshare. Special thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring today's episode. Okay, folks, I just wanted to demonstrate some of the colored pencil swatches that I did here. I used one half of the box for a basic one layer and the other half for several layers with heavy pressure. This 
gives you a nice comprehensive overview of some of the options in the color pencil line. You've got earth tones, you've got bright tones, you've got these sort of wonderful colors that layer really well over each other like carmine and cobalt blue and you've got some extra secondary colors you've got magenta you've got turquoise this set only has one particular pencil that has only one light fast rating and that is the cosmos pencil everything else is rated two or three by the way i got this page from coloringpagesbliss.com she's um here on youtube her name's jennifer you should go visit her channel if you really love to color and i think she's got a wonderful channel let's take a look at some of the old swatches that i have from the, the japanese set whenever it was only available in japan you've got your cobalt blue it's the same color guys for screen yeah same color and violet Actually, Violet looks a little bit more pigmented in the U.S. set. So, oh, it is crooked. They have the exact same texture, you guys. They have the, as far as I know, it's the exact same formula. The thing that prevented them from being able to be released in the U.S. is that a few of them had some ingredients that did not meet the standard for being released in the U.S. So this section of the video concerns melts. And remember whenever I said I struggled with it, I really just didn't understand it at first. I felt like such a dingling because I remembered that I had this conversation with the folks at Holbein that it actually does turn your colored pencil drawings into a watercolor painting. So I feel completely ditzy about that, I'm sorry. And I figured there's no reason to go ahead and show you the entirety of the saga because it would just be too long for this video and I didn't end up using them anyways. So here you go. So I thought, well, instead of just doing it on the demo, why don't we just go ahead and do it together here on the swatches? Really super curious about this. Uh, you know what? I really like Viridian. Let's do Viridian. I hope I didn't add too much. So folks, my mistake with this medium was that I initially thought it was supposed to blend kind of like odorless mineral spirits, which of course that wasn't the case at all. It actually even states on their Japanese website that the completed picture will look like a watercolor painting. So before I discovered this though, I tried it with some circles and then finally watercolor paper before figuring this out. And this was a flop too because I had my camera too close and it was out of focus. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out this melts. <laughs> I really am. Well, it does look a little bit more watercolory. Does it look like it actually blended a little bit better on this paper? Hmm. Because it does kind of look like watercolor. Actually, I kind of like the look of it on watercolor paper. Who knew? So growing up as a kid in the 80s, I loved everything that was cherries. Cherry decorations, cherry fruit roll-ups, cherry Kool-Aid, cherry purses, and just everything with cherries. And I like, I just love the flavor of cherries. And so that's why I'm going to use cherries as a still life demonstration for this section of the video for the time lapse. Well, now that you know what my childhood sounds like, welcome to the voiceover. I have to say right off the bat, guys, that working with these, my experience was it felt the same, it looked the same, it was the same as the Japanese pencil formula. So you won't have to worry about purchasing these U.S. released pencils at Blick and worry about it being the same pencil or not. So it is the same beautiful, reliable pencil, I promise. I feel like my camera didn't pick up the contrast as much as I wanted though, so keep that in mind when watching, and I'm posting the finished drawing on my Instagram, which you can go check out right now. So here's a little history lesson for you all on Holbein. The company started in Osaka, Japan around 1900 and still have their head offices there remaining to this day. 
H.K. Holbein is the North American branch that was founded in 1977 by Peter Hopper and his sons, Peter and Douglas. According to their website, Holbein's Color Factory employs 210 people, including five color chemists. Those color chemists use the highest quality pigments and are especially meticulous at meeting the highest quality standards at each stage of the production process. So also, fun fact, I had no idea about this, but H.K. Holbein actually distributes both Strathmore paper and general pencils. And amongst other materials. So now hear me out. Okay, Holbein do not make student quality color products. They make mostly artist grade materials and they are priced accordingly. So there is a certain oil pastel that they have that is more beginner friendly, but it is by no means student grade quality, if that makes sense. And then they have their artist oil pastel. So what I do love about this company is that they don't cut corners as far as quality is concerned and never have certain products that they have outsourced to other places in the world that have cheap materials like some people do and, um, and some companies do. So they create some truly unique and highest quality materials in this business. One of the best things that I love about these pencils, and I know I've mentioned this before, is that I'm able to really add more layers than I can with other brands in my experience. So I went ahead and decided to use the odorless mineral spirits this time around to blend because I'm just not familiar enough with the blends yet. And I would rather have a separate video for that. So, so I've never, and I'm joking, never had a lead completely break off from any of my Holbein colored pencils. I promise you. I've actually had a couple of crumbles over the years, but also keep in mind I'm a heavy handed artist. So in that respect, I can assure you that you'll be okay when using these. So I have been accused on other videos of being paid by Holbein. And you know what? I wish that were true. <laughs> but as always, I'm faithful to you and I wouldn't ever exaggerate or lie. And I certainly wouldn't back up an art supply that I didn't believe in, whether I'm paid or unpaid. Now I know that some people really don't, they get turned off by the high price tag. I get it. I get it. I was once a broke artist, okay? But um, I just got to say that they do put a lot of time and love into their quality, but I really don't think they upcharge that much more than some of the other brands. So if you stay tuned, I'll be giving the information for the 24 color pencil giveaway and the deadline. And I do hope that you win so you can understand what it's like to use these pencils. And you know, if not, if you're not the winner, then I recommend starting with a 12 color pencil set, or you can buy them open stock on blick.com. You can buy a couple of them and just try them out and see how you like them. So what do you think guys? I had a lot of fun creating this. I usually don't do still lives. I wish I would have had more time to work with them a little bit more, but you're gonna see more Holbein colored pencil videos in the future. So let's talk about this luscious colored pencil giveaway. So Wednesday, February 24th is going to be the deadline and it's going to be at 12 p.m. Central Standard Time. So you can kind of go around the adjustments of the time. Um, what you need to do to enter the giveaway is like this video, subscribe, and you can subscribe on Instagram if you feel like it. And what I really wanna know is what brand of color pencil is your favorite? And just go ahead and leave it in the comments. You don't have to tell me why, but you know, just go ahead. If you want to, that's cool too, but yeah. So if you're still watching, thank you for being here. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please give it a like if you do and go ahead and consider hitting that subscribe button. It really helps me out turn all that notification bells on so they can get everything that I put out. And I'm looking to be more regular and actually eventually be full time on YouTube. So yeah, that's it. I love you guys. I hope that you have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Keep creating. I know that I have been accused on my Prismacolor why I didn't ever use... Okay. Blah, 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 blah. Taste of all the different um, benefits of this pencil. Um, you can see, uh, I need to stop saying um. Okay guys, so hello, welcome back. It is time and very long awaited. <laughs> I set my camera down too low. <laughs> Hi, Jack. Jack wants to talk again. Seems like every time I come down here and try and film today, he really wants to be a part of all of this. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, I'm tired. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> also, I want to give a little shout out 
to my shirt. Okay, I am in love with this shirt. It's the wrong size, but that's okay. It came from Threadless, not sponsored, but check it out. It's Madonna in all of her different phases. Like we've got, okay, we've got Vogue um, 1990 Madonna. We've got Erotica Madonna. We've got Like a Prayer Madonna. We've got, which era is this? Oh, this is like True Blue era. And then we've got the Like a Virgin era. And this is kind of that Vogue era too, is Justify My Love. Oh my goodness, what an awesome shirt. And I'm gonna put a link in the description box below if you want to purchase one yourself. But anyways, okay, I just had to get that out because I'm, I'm really excited to wear this. <laughs> and because um, you know I'm a Madonna fan. And guys, if you are here, still listening, if you would love to see more of these types of videos, hmm, I just don't, it's just not flowing. <laughs>